Insta360 sent me their beautiful brand new camera and we're gonna get some 360 footage but this time I'm not just gonna do it I'm gonna walk you through pretty much how to do it if you wanted to and of course I'm gonna leave a link for this camera or the other 360 camera that I've used in my last video in the comments or in the comments in the description down below in case any of you guys wanted this camera got that nice Apple quality unboxing experience now I did take out the camera just to charge it to make sure that it's good and ready for when we ride the good thing about this you don't have to use this just for 360 this camera actually comes with a regular lens just like your GoPro or any regular you know 4k action cam just like the one I'm using right now but the cool thing about it is that check this out you can literally disconnect this and switch it to a 360 camera which has lenses on both sides and that's how you get that 360 footage tell me that's not insane like when i saw this i was like what the hell who thought about this so this is the battery which attaches in the bottom and also holds these two pieces together so you have your screen whichever camera you want to use if you want regular filming or if you want 360 for today's video we're going to be doing 360 of course because you know that's cool and different so yeah we just put this right here there you go clicked in place and now we have a 360 camera tell me this is not insane like seriously and yeah super sleek super cool design and i'm really excited to try this because you can't get this camera which is two cameras literally for the price of one welcome back to the channel you guys I am back on the beautiful V4R For today's video as you guys saw uh, I was setting up my new Insta360 RS camera And we are just going to meet up with a friend And just gonna go on a cruise And I'm gonna get some 360 footage for you guys I think it's gonna look really cool uh, I really wanna see the V4R from kinda like that perspective So yeah, I'm excited for that I think I hear him. <laughs> Perfect timing. Look at that. <laughs> I need your carbon wheels. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, I keep delaying it because I'm buying other parts. But I think this bike will look really good with similar wheels. Okay, we have this. Stick the selfie stick on there. I think I should put it all the way like that. Then we take the lens cap off. Yeah, we should be ready, I think. This stick out all the way. I look so funny. I'm looking at my shadow. <laughs> and the bowl, uh, the, po the pole just like dangling. Oh, crap. Hopefully I don't hit anything. Okay, let me set up more straight in here.
to upshift by top shifted. <laughs> I swear, the switching from one bike that's GP shift to another that's regular shifting is so confusing. Because like you don't think about doing this stuff, it's all muscle memory. So once you get used to something, it's hard to like switch it back. It creates a lot of confusion. I did buy uh, a mount, so apparently for the Aprilia I have to buy a mount so I can switch it to GP shift, which I did buy. So I'm very excited for that. So the bike feels more natural and I don't feel like I have to think about certain things like this when I ride. Oh, these bikes get hot when they're just sitting in the sun. The two drag clutches, they sound so obnoxious. It's epic. I got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I need to take this off, hold on.